Fall is just around the corner, and this year I'm getting serious about creating a capsule wardrobe. If you've been following my channel for a while, you may recall that I attempted a capsule wardrobe back in like spring, summer of 2023, and I'll link that video in the description box below if you want to check it out. But basically, I did a big closet clean out, trying on things, donating things, just removing a bunch of stuff that I don't wear. And then I tried to pick out the items that I would include in my warm weather wardrobe. However, I didn't put items that I wasn't including away. I just pushed them to the side of the closet and I feel like that allowed me to easily reach for them, bring them right back into rotation and somehow everything just ended up blending all back together. I recently cleaned out the closet in my daughter's old bedroom. It's worth noting that that is a big benefit of being an empty nester. And I started today by moving all my summer clothes out of my closet and into hers. And then I just continued to slowly work through my clothes, pulling out items that I'm just not all that interested in including in my fall slash winter capsule wardrobe. And the thing that makes this easy is that I'm just moving the clothes. I'm not committing to get rid of them. I wasn't looking through trying to decide what to donate, what, you know, I really want to keep. I'm just moving them. I'm keeping it all. And I'm essentially thinking of this other closet as my time will tell closet. Things that get moved there maybe will get moved back out next spring when the weather breaks and the warm clothes will come back. Some things won't. And then I know things that have stayed in that closet for any length of time and not been pulled out, I can feel confident in getting rid of them. And this also means that if during the next couple seasons, I need something that I don't have in my capsule wardrobe. It's there, it's handy, it's in the other room. I can go get it, but it's just difficult enough that it will prevent me from using them without real intention. So I can look at my small wardrobe in front of me and choose my clothes every day. Which brings me to the question, are you wondering why people would even bother with a capsule wardrobe? I mean, if you have the clothes, why not just keep them out and wear what you want, right? Well, most of us have a ton of clothes we never wear, clothes that we don't even like, or clothes you know that don't even fit us, or that we bought still have the tags on them, and we just have never found an excuse to wear them. We have too many options in our closet and that gives us decision fatigue before we've even started our day. As a matter of fact, the average person wears 20% of their clothes 80% of the time. So that means you're already pretty much doing it. You already have sort of your capsule wardrobe, the clothes that you wear on repeat all the time and the other 80% of stuff in your closet, you're rarely touching, you're rarely using, so why have it? Now, I get it, there's special occasions, there's things that you want every once in a while, you don't wanna to have to go out and buy a new dress every time you have to you know, go to an, an event, whether it be a wedding or something fancy, I get that. So you don't have to get rid of it, right? Just moving it to another closet so it's not there for you to look at and deal with day in and day out just helps relieve a little bit of stress and make your world feel a little more simplified. You can learn all about capsule wardrobes from Courtney Carver. I mentioned her in the other video I did. She is the creator of a capsule wardrobe slash fashion challenge called Project 333. Now, she has a book by this title. You can even just Google Project 333 and you'll find her. So, you know, you can look her up, find her website, learn more. 
But the idea behind her project is that for three months, one season, she has 33 items of clothes. Now she does include accessories and coats in hers and I did not include that in mine, but 33 items for three months of time sounds kind of severe, but in reality, it's not that bad. And when I do my math, I actually got down to 44 items in this capsule wardrobe. I did include shoes. I did not include accessories or coats, but 44 items for two seasons, that's six months-ish of time, doesn't seem too bad. I will link Courtney's book, Project 333, down in the description box, so if you want to check it out, feel free. And just another thing to note, Courtney actually implemented this process, this project into her own life while she was still working in an office full time. So if you're thinking that you can't do this because you have to dress up for work, you're wrong. Now, all in all, this process took me about an hour. Now, of course, previously I'd spent three hours cleaning out the other closet, but that needed to be done no matter what. I ended up with a simplified closet that will make getting dressed every day easier, decreasing stress, feeling simplified when I get up every day and look in my closet. And I am committed to dressing from this wardrobe for the next couple of seasons, fall and winter. Now I know that I may move a couple things in and out as fall turns into winter. There's a few lighter shirts that I might get rid of, warmer shirts I might want to pull in, etc. And I might find that I'm not wearing something that I kept, which means that I can feel confident in donating it and you know, then I'll consider replacing it if that happens. I am not going to be so rigid that I'm not enjoying the process, but I think it's important to have some rules around what I have and how I will wear it. And of course, I do have all the items in the other closet, so if a special occasion pops up that I'm not expecting, I have options outside of this closet. I didn't throw everything away just because I haven't worn it in a year. If all of a sudden I'm invited to a wedding and I need a dress, I probably can pull a dress. Well, I only think I have two. <laughs> One of them might be acceptable and I can pull it out of the other closet and throw it on. Excuse the bad lighting and the lack of makeup and the overall just sweaty grossness. <laughs> I got up this morning, went for my walk, came back and did all of that cleaning out of the closet that you just saw. And now I wanted to show you what the final capsule wardrobe looks like. I think I did pretty good. I've sort of counted, but then I keep changing. So I'm not sure exactly where we are. I'll probably have to count a couple times to be sure that I really have the right number but I think I did okay, actually. Um, this is what I have. The big reveal. This is what's left. I know it's a little bit hard to see. Back here, this is just some yoga... Sorry, squeaky closet door. This is just some yoga clothes back here, so I'm not counting those. I ended up with four t-shirts. Now, the t-shirts, along with a couple other things, will be in here for fall because you know it's fall the weather is very changeable but I assume as we get more into winter and the weather gets colder and colder that these t-shirts will probably go away and maybe I'll bring out a heavier sweater um, I also have a white pair of pants that will probably go away yes I will wear white into the fall but I'm probably not going to wear it in the winter although who knows but if I decide I'm not wearing it, I will probably get rid of the white pants, maybe pull out another pair of jeans. We shall see. But anyways, this is what we have. So four t-shirts. They're like a graphic tee, sort of a dressier tee, just a black tee and a striped tee for a little variety. And one, two, three, four, four. These are just sort of long sleeve t-shirts. And then a couple, 
they're not dressy by any stretch of the imagination but they're a little more blousey little dressier more than a long sleeve tee um, you could dress these up easily and or dress them down whatever I have four button-up shirts and then once I got done I realized I think I'm missing one that must be in the laundry at the moment I have a darker blue button-up that I do wear a lot so that will be in here I'll end up with five button-up shirts and this is just you know, a green tunic that again will probably disappear at the end of fall but maybe not <laughs> did I say that already and then I have a cardigan a couple blazers I have a couple other sort of wrappy shawly layers because I get cold easy I like layers and then I have three vests um, one a little more casual and then the this one can be sort of dressed up. This one actually can even be sort of dressed up. They're nice and cozy. I have this, if you can see it, is a blue and striped cardigan, a couple sweaters. I realize I don't actually own a lot of sweaters, which is odd, again, because I am pretty cold all the time. But I feel like I've been getting rid of sweaters that I just didn't like how they looked, and I haven't found new ones to replace them. So maybe sometime this winter I'll buy a new sweater. Maybe I won't. Who knows? And then here's just a couple sort of heavier shirts, a turtleneck. Um, this is just a really light sweater and just a cashmere cardigan, again, just to layer. And then I ended up with five pairs of pants. So I have a pair of black jeans, uh, three other jeans in various cuts. Um, I think I have like straight leg, a boot leg, and maybe sort of almost skinny, but not too skinny. And then my white pair of jeans as well. And then I kept out, I went through my shoes. I was back and forth whether or not I really wanted to include shoes in this, but then I decided, you know, why not? I ended up going with eight pairs of shoes. And well, that might seem like a lot. There's a couple of these that are in here only because I want the option of having a little bit of variety, but I'm guessing I'm probably not going to wear them a lot. And then even if I do, it'll probably only be fall. So I'm getting this idea that, that fall is going to be one of my bigger capsules, which makes sense fall and spring because you both you still have to dress for multiple seasons really because you might have a warm day you might have a cold day so you have to have options but as we get further into winter i can see my capsule wardrobe is going to shrink down just a little bit i'm not counting my jackets i have a couple wool coats i have a couple lighter fall jackets so in the end i probably only have four so why i'm not even going to worry about it i'm not counting my winter like i have winter snow boots that i really only wear if i go out in the snow i have um sneakers that i only wear if i'm out walking like so that they're only really for exercise i never just wear them out and about so i'm not counting those uh the little pair of sneakers that i do have in my capsule wardrobe are the sneakers that i tend to wear if i'm going out somewhere i did also go through not that i needed to but i went through some of my not underwear, but I tend to layer because I get cold. So I have camis and some tank tops that aren't actually seen. They're just worn underneath my other clothes to help me keep warm. So I did go through those, got rid of a couple that were sort of old and stretched out and worn out. I did go through my scarves. I didn't get rid of anything. All I did was move some of the more springy, summery scarves into the other closet, kept out the things that I think I will likely wear we'll see maybe I will maybe I won't but scarves are nice just to change something up and that's about it um, I'm curious if you are going to try a capsule wardrobe if you are not only do I want you to like this video but also put a thumbs up in the comments so I know that you're gonna give it a try thanks so much and have a great day